Um, what are your thoughts on uh, the recent uh, politicking within the Jubilee Party and the pact signed between the Jubilee Party and Kanu? Well, I, I, cannot, uh, pro I cannot profess to speak for Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee is, a, is the ruling party in this country uh, and it has its own spokespeople. Uh, and the party leader is uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Um, so the changes that, uh, and this is what I presume you're referring to, uh, the changes that have taken place uh, in Jubilee in relation to uh, the leadership of uh, its members in the House uh, is completely a Jubilee affair because uh, they are working within their party structures they are working within the Political Parties Act, and that entitles them to make changes as they deem fit, uh, presumably to enhance efficiency uh, in the operations of their business in Parliament uh, and elsewhere where party matters uh, come to fall. So party? I cannot profess beyond yes. that okay. uh, to, to say that I'm speaking for them. All right, fair um, enough, fair enough. Is the NC party um, planning? Because, because, be, no, no, I think there's a little more that uh, I, I wanted to say. Yes, yes, It's important please. that people, people appreciate that when Jubilee is making its changes, mm. it cannot be the role of ANC to interfere. Fair enough, fair enough. And ANC, when we are making our changes, okay. we don't expect any other party to interfere with that, us. That's unsaid, that's unsaid. But does the ANC party, are there any plans to cooperate or get into a pact with Jubilee Party and Kanu? Uh, I think it's important to put everything in context. The first thing that needs to be understood is that ANC is part of the NASA coalition. This was a coalition that brought together uh, the ODM, WIPA, uh, Ford Kenya, and Chama Chamashinani. We registered a coalition document which we then uh, put through the Register of Political Parties. That coalition document is still valid unless the constituent member parties decide that it is no longer useful and they exit. And there are protocols that were laid down in our document to make sure that we can exit. We cannot be in two co coalitions at the same time. The law does not allow that to happen. What does this mean? That is the position. Yes. What does this so, mean? So I think... I. So I want, to make it, I want to make it very clear mm -hmm. that when Kanu moved into a collusion with Jubilee, they were working on the basis of the interest that they had in mind in that direction. So as ANC, our role is opposition. And we intend to continue playing that role as a constructive okay. and, and responsible opposition. All right. Uh, we are seeing parties uh, within the NASA coalition, ODM wiper, seemingly wa warming up to uh, the possibility of uh, cooperating with the Jubilee, perhaps um, joining the pact or whatnot. Are the NASA principles in talks over this? At this point in time, we have not had any common talks as the summit of NASA. Uh, so what uh, we are seeing is that individual parties are uh, exploring uh, what more they can do beyond the NASA coalition. That is what is happening at this point in time. And they have a right to do so. so but if they have to enter into a coalition mm -hmm. and formalize it, then, then the process that needs to be followed is that you first resign from the NASA coalition 
and then move on to do whatever you wish to do. Now, as I sit as a member of the NASA coalition, I want to state that we have not seen any letter, official communication, in whatever nature, from any of these parties that are in NASA to say that they intend to exit and enter into a post-election coalition. What we are seeing is talk of cooperation. Mm -hmm. So then it has and been... In the point I would like to make... Yes. Sorry? It has been intimated that the ANC is planning a parliamentary group meeting sometime this week. Could you confirm that? That is not on. Uh, that was not my story. What's the story and then? And I would like to also confirm... I would like to confirm... I read it in the papers, by the way. I would like to confirm that to the procedure for any coalition arrangements is spelled out. A parliamentary group uh, uh, does not have the mandate to form a coalition. There are party organs which would build up very carefully, leading up to the governing council and leading up to the National Delegates Congress to ratify if we are going to go into a coalition with any other organization. Now, this has not happened. So uh, I would like to put to rest uh, this, this, this particular issue. The point I want to put out when I was saying about cooperation, surely if President Uhuru is fighting corruption, ANC will support him. Surely if President Uhuru is putting a team together to work on how to revive the economy post-COVID, we would be ridiculous as a party not to support that. If President Uhuru wants to reorganize uh, the issues that relate to some other aspect that is so critical for the welfare of this country, we will support him to achieve that. You must also remember that at one time, President Uhuru was also the leader of opposition. And there was a moment, even if you remember during the referendum, it appeared as if he was not supporting uh, the position of President Kibaki at that time, the PNU position. In the referendum, he didn't. But when it came to the election, President Uhuru, then the leader of opposition, decided to support uh, President Kibaki's government. So we need to put these things in perspective. And I think, uh, the, the, uh, because I thought I should speak a little bit to these issues, I believe that we are misrepresenting a lot of things in this country. President Uhuru has a lot to achieve with the big four and so forth. Nobody begrudges him on that. But I don't think President Uhuru is on a mission to say that he's killing the opposition. That is not it. So there's a lot of, that, there's a lot of misrepresentation on some of these things. And what I'd like to say is that we can have unity of purpose. We can have cooperation on very fundamental issues. Surely when the government is fighting COVID, ANC stands fully with the president and with the government okay. on that course. Well, you say... And there are so many others. Yes. For instance, we, we have, for instance, we have a crisis economically. The, the government is going to present a budget to, to, to the House. As much as it may have shortcomings and so forth, I would definitely tell the ANC uh, uh, members of parliament that the count, country must move forward. This would not be a, a time for scoring punches. This is a time to rally together to move forward. Okay. And therefore, let us work systematically and get some of these things done. That is how we can do it. All right. And, and, and I, I believe we, that does not make us any, we are not disloyal by that point. Even in UK, the, 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 the opposition is called Her, Her Royal Majesty's official opposition. All right, I believe uh, we've covered much of it.
Exactly, not uh, too much time. NC Party leader there, Musalia Mudavadi, of course, saying they will not be joining any um, coalition pact, uh, post-election pact with Jubilee and Kanu, says Nasta, the agreement, coalition agreement still stands. Thank you very much, Mr. Mudavadi, for joining us here tonight on Checkpoint and answering to an array of issues that have been raised by Kenyans. Up next is point.